what I want to talk about today is is really some of my deeper thoughts on injuries and, and why they occur at least for soft tissue injury and whether it's joint stability issues or whether it's just soft tissue but one of the big reasons is you have a, a bad co-contraction or a bad co-activation they're the same thing in in your body that's taking place and with that co-contraction co-activation what what it is is basically a simultaneously activation of the antagonist muscles around a joint so let's say when you go to change direction in your with your leg your your quad and hamstring do have tension now this is always usually the case at some level and and there's large interactions between those two muscles at all times when something happens to one um, one relaxes or activates so i'm not going to get into that today but why do we have co-contraction to ensure joint stabilization of safety mechanisms okay and where's the where does it happen at is the primary it's in the primary motor cortex of the brain um, keep in mind that the uh, the cns will compromise maximal force production to ensure stability of the joint and its integrity so what I'm about to tell you in the next slide you understand any of these issues you'll reduce force production um, along with um, joint stability actually can decrease too when you have a bad co-contraction now we know if you don't have stability you can't get maximal force so again increase velocity of movement and increase of uh, um, antagonistic co-activation now I think the biggest thing with co-activation and injury is that we have what causes most injuries uh, whether it's overuse or soft tissue is that we have a bad co-contraction okay and that co-activation now when people say well why do I have that well we all know and it's been in the let's say the literature saying hey what's an indicator that you're going to get hurt is that you had a previous injury okay so this previous injury is another reason why you get hurt but why do you have why are you likely to get hurt again most likely you have a bad co-contraction that's still there from the old injury the coordination of these muscles working at high speeds and high velocities aren't working correctly now here's a little beef of mine and I'm gonna solve this in later videos is that this co-contraction um, with old injuries they never rehab old injuries to contract at the speed at which you're going to perform in sports so I feel often the return to play is missed okay now let me give you an example of this is when a you sprain an ankle and you have you form a compensation pattern that you had a sprained ankle well the ankle may not hurt anymore but the problem is you may pull your hamstring because of the compensation pattern that's not fixed yet because there's a bad co-contraction still or a less effective one that's not optimizing what you did when you ran down the field at high speeds and high velocities okay so this is where I feel that like a lot of prehab and these old injuries come from is that the the muscles aren't firing correctly at high speeds together in the co-contraction co-activation which causes other muscles to possibly get hurt and actually puts more strain on them 